Showdown with Nightmare. Final battle with that abomination. I still don't know what the fuck Nightmare is. Real talk. If I could, I would get another purple orb, but I can't. I do want another blue orb, though, all things considered. And I might have enough for a purple orb. I think that's the final one. Blue orb, uh, I'm gonna have to debate on that later. We also have only one more blue orb, I think. Although it does kind of make me wonder what, if I went wrong with all the blue orbs, because I probably should have more. I don't know. I keep thinking I screwed up after I consulted some, uh, what is it, reference, like a guide I was using. I don't know. And we have the frost. Again, they're weak to fire. Simple and I can do about the health. Let's see, there's another statue if you need it. This is an even smaller area. This is nightmare at his worst. Trust me. This fight, pun unintended, is a real nightmare. Same strategy applied, but he has a few new tricks up his non-existent sleeves. Trust me. Um, because of a few things, I'm gonna let him absorb me early on. Oh crap! I forgot about this. This attack. Oh boy. Oh god. This is not gonna end well. He has that net attack that I don't remember what the fuck it does. I was hoping it was just gonna absorb me there, but whatever. Again, use infrared. Charge with attacks because if the core gets destroyed, it'll increase in defense and in health. Uh, he has for Nightmare as well. Same as always, and this time, as you can guess, we have Neilo Angelo to deal with. He is probably, in my opinion, the easiest to deal with. All things considered. Where is Neilo anyway? I'm very curious. Once we can find him. Neilo! Come out and play! I got an amulet for ya! Huh. I'm pretty sure I passed him. Whatever. Oh, who's over there? He had the same combo, same everything. There is a loop I found where I think you would use Alistair, I mean, not Alistair, if for it, plus, what is it? Oh crap, I didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, Ifrit plus the Magma Drive. He can't really actually get out of it. I don't know how it works. I only know, I only know it applies to this one only. Oh boy. Remember, he is weak as always. Compared to the original. Look at how much damage he's taking. Ah! <laughs> that was gonna happen. Yeah, I should not have done that. But we got full health back. Um, 
Thank you, brother. I should be doing so much better on these nightmare first, but I hate spot. I am not. And there we go. At this point, remember, if he tries to absorb you in liquid form, it's gonna hurt you outright. Same as always, core and stuff. Sweets. You should know better than to trust a stranger. Your presence has become a hindrance to my master's bloody scheme. Now die! You know, she's not exactly wrong, Tante. Like, come on. She attacked you when you first met her. And yeah, this is one of the things, yes, things that's going to complicate this fight. That always happens at that time, and now we've Trish's lightning deal. It's telegraph, but it hurts. Nightmare has one other thing that, believe me, makes it even worse. Yes, worse than dealing with fucking trash. And now he's gone into a critical mode. You just saw there, I he was almost dead, and then he gained more health. Here's the problem. Now we've got a time of that core, which is constantly close, but it's in the red state. I mean, he takes the most hits, has the highest defense, and all that crap. He also has more attacks, of lasers, everything. He's just gonna start spamming all his shit. On uh, the side, he gets more health back and everything. Just uh, move and use Ebony and Ivory. This is exactly why I wanted Vortex. Vortex decimates him even on Dantima's dying. That's nightmare for you. Dante! Dante, why did you save my life? Because you look like my mother. Now get out of my sight. The next time we meet, it won't be like this. Closer, you devil! You may look like my mother, but you're nowhere close to her. You have no soul. You have the face, but you'll never have her fire! have it. Trish, as you expected, was a traitor. Not really a traitor. She was working for Mondays the whole time. The reason that Dante felt so attached to her and trusted her is because, as you saw in the intro, there's a blonde lady on Dante's desk. That is his mother, Eva, the wife of Sparta. She's human, which is where Dante gets half-demon, half-human heritage. And Mondays took advantage of that by making Trish look just like her. That's why Dante also saved her and everything. And that's prob that's a main reason why I think he feels so betrayed by Trish. Because they took advantage of his love for his mother. Which is, yeah, I feel for Dante. That was a pretty decent scene in my opinion. It certainly does help define Dante as a character. And we see all this time he's he's pretty calm, and he's pretty kick-ass. He is very cocky. But then we see um his love for his family. We saw that with 
Neo Angel when it was revealed that Neo Angel was his twin brother, Virgil, the very same for Devil May Cry 3 and the recent release, Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. I'm gonna have to honestly talk about that more when we get into Devil May Cry 3, and also potentially Devil May Cry 4. But for now, that's the end of the Nightmare. Really? Well, let's let this take care of Mundus. I mean, Mundus, my bad. We don't have to worry about Trish or anyone else getting in our way. So, I'll see you guys in the next mission. Alright, we're in pretty much the last mission. The next two are just going to be some boss fights slash ending stuff. We've got, I think, one last war. There's one last secret mission, but it has something extra in it. And then that's pretty much it. I'm thinking I may not need Devil Trigger. I'll probably buy it in the end. Maybe. May need round trip. Maybe if for a meteor. I don't know. I could do about meteor. I guess we're all set then. This is not a hard mission. Um, it's not clear where we're supposed to go at times though. The secret mission is right here actually. Again, very obscure. <laughs> So, there's a blue orb here, but there's also that bangle. The bangle is an interesting item. Anyway, let's see. As you can hear, we have a... Nobody, of course. So, this is basically a maze full of nobodies. Uh, I've seen and found that hanging on the right path is the best option. And as always, my main strategy for the nobodies is just to spam Ifrit. More importantly, Inferno. Maybe use the grenade gun here and there as well. The blue orb's right over there, so that makes me wonder, um, what blue orb did I miss? Actually, wait, why? Huh, why did it go straight into... Why does it say 1 out of 4? I don't know, I think I glitched one maybe on this playthrough. Because again, I've checked the videos and it doesn't seem like I've missed any of them. I don't know, I think I'm fine on them, it's just I don't really want it to confuse people. Anyway, more nobodies. They're really not that bad, they're an odd enemy, that's older. And that's older to it. Ooh, it's dead. It's worth knowing the secret mission really is just how the regular mission itself is actually going to be, for the most part. Alright, we go through these corridors, you find nobodies, it's kind of like a maze-like area. I don't know the regular mission that well, truth be told. But... Oh god, it's doing the thing. It's actually doing my devil trigger. You hear that weird, very freaky sound. That means it's stealing your devil trigger. I think it does like a sort of dance like thing according to wikis and stuff. I don't know. And, okay, we're, we've reached the bangle area. Really, I have to get the blue orb. You're fine. I don't really recommend this. And as you can hear, that's, Banth, that's Bowser's ancestor. It's the same thing, only instead of actually reflecting stuff, we actually kill the thing and directly at it. I mean, like, we fight it head on. Basically, use whatever I find. Alistair's the best. And using your grenade gun far. Yeah, that's really the whole thing. And then I think. Yeah, freezes appear, or whatever they're going to be called. You gotta love how they have the freeze enemies. I forget what they're called. In the lava area. Like, and how they're walking on it. Like, that, that's a little bullshit. And yes, if you actually are on the lava, I think it hurts you. No, I know some lava does. Oh. 
Yeah, very, very simple. I think I have to destroy that turnip thing. And then that's really it. Yeah, I swore the lava itself hurt, but it still doesn't make sense how the fucking fire based enemy ha ha can go on it. Okay, you can just trace for more of that. I mean, there's no real point in not doing red at the end game. This music's actually kind of neat, though. It's um, it's really nice you're getting you pumped up for the finale. I like it. Of course, having a fire area is really not doing me wonders for dealing with the insane heat of the summer. I'm in my last week before I start class again, and. Oh, uh, so bad. You might hear not much of my AC, but actually a fan. It's... Oh, uh, it's so awful. I have the fan not for me, for my dog who's in here, because he can't bear to eat either. It's just so awful this one. There's the bangle. And that's the whole mission. I don't know what the rest of that uh, platform was for, but that's all the secret missions in the game. So let's take a look at that bangle while we're here. Let's see, we're six minutes in. Um, where is it? Ah, there it is. I believe this uses Devil Trigger. I never actually use it, truth be told. Because I just don't really see a point using it. I never see anyone else use it either. I had to just focus on whatever else I have. But anyway, we have to get away into that door. We have to basically open it up through more of these turnip things. Because really, that's kind of what they look like to me. And that opens that up. It's so weird how it looks like the insides of a demon. Or at least just like a living thing. I mean, I know it's called a living cave, but still. You wouldn't think that it would have, like, insides, and I think there's something glowing there. We'll get that on the way out. If it's probably also the best choice to have here, because there are a few things that, like, those things on the wall, those cocoa things, those will hurt you, so it's best to use if it's throwing blaze in order to avoid. Yeah, it's doing that dancing. Look at how much, look at how quick my devil trigger drain. I, that wasn't even counting me turning it on and using it on, on on that thing. That was crazy. As soon as... Oh boy. I don't know what that was. Because I really don't remember this area that well. But, um, this is another maze. I, I'm going to be kind of improvising, really. I don't know where to go, really. So, what the hell? Apparently you and Oblivion. Hoping that thing doesn't grab me again. I hear any other nobody, so I'm gonna hopefully follow the path. I don't really know where to go. This is like the one area I never really memorized. I memorized really the bosses over everything else. Dead end. Well, if I had to say anything else for this, I would say probably you should listen to the sounds of the nobodies. What the? Whoa. <sighs> Whoa. Forgetting that thing's there. I don't even know what that is. I know Don't May Cry 4 has something like it, and I guess we found the right path. Like, Don't May Cry 4, some missions have this weird thing that grabs you and it warps you into a small area to fight enemies. Oh, plasmas. Got those things, didn't ya? That lava will actually hurt you. Inferno everything. And the world will burn in an inferno of hate. Wait. I shot my revenge on Umbrella. And the world will burn in an inferno of hate. 
such an out of place line from, believe it or not, Resident Evil Zero. I finished that. The other day, that was the last class Resident Evil game I had to finish. I don't know, that game, it, I have a weird relationship with it. I think most people do. Like, people, they don't love it. It's definitely never a favorite of people from what I've seen. It might be the favorite of some people. Nothing gets you if it is, but I don't know. There's something about that game. I can definitely say it's not that scary, at least at this point, compared to Remake, leave it, go Veronica, etc. It has some good moments of horror, but there were never really any moments where I was like, oh god, oh god, save me, I don't want to deal with this. I like, say, the Crimson Heads, the Regenerators, etc. I don't know. Yeah, it's not a bad game. It's getting an HD remaster. I found that out right after I bought it, so I was kind of like, uh, not really. I already had Remake on GameCube, though. Well, I had data for it. I got a copy on my friend, so I figured. So it wasn't really a bother, I already got it at discount too, but uh, that I didn't really know how to feel. Either way, that's the whole mission. Yeah, no kidding. That that's really it. We can head there. I think the game is actually vibrating to the thing and wait, can I get up there? From here? Okay, so we can get there, but I think there was something shiny in the beginning area, so I'm gonna wanna take a look at there. If you can hear that, was my dog scratching himself, because again, the heat is driving the poor thing insane. Um. Ah! That'll probably help, let's see. Holy water, very good. I think there's actually something in here as well, actually. The area we fought Nightmare. I don't know why it still has up all the things from the Nightmare fight, but there's also an untouchable, which is actually not a bad item to have in a final fight, believe it or not. At least if you're playing on Tantimus Die. If you're playing on Noble Difficulty, uh, I say for pride's sake and everything else, don't really use an untouchable on normal or hard. Because I've seen a lot of people who can do the rest of this game on Dante Must Die pretty well, including myself. And then when it just comes to this part, the end game, a lot of people just say, screw it, we, we're not meant for this stuff. And like, they just don't want to really deal with the bullshit that can be the end game for this game. Because believe me, it really can be full of crap. So yeah, that's my personal thoughts. And you lose so much on Dante Must Die too, as well, but... Yeah, not that bad a final mission, not that memorable, though. Let's see. A rank, not a bad last rank to get for the last mission. Alright, so we're heading into the final boss and... Last part of the game, really. So, next time... Um, see you at the next mission final boss, I guess.